little kitty. It seems like you are having a bad case of sinusitis. Relax, kitty. Hey, friends, I know you must have also heard about this nose dripping, harsh coughing, and a head aching condition called sinusitis. So, in today's episode, let me answer this vital question What causes sinusitis? Zoom in! So, what is sinusitis? Before we answer that question, we need to learn a bit about your facial anatomy. As you can see, there are some air-filled spaces in the bones of your head around the nose. These hollow spaces are called sinuses that come in four pairs or eight in all. They are on either side of the nose, in your cheeks, behind and between the eyes, in the forehead and at the back of the nasal cavity. And just like the inside of the nose, these sinuses are lined with a moist, thin layer of tissue called a mucous membrane that helps moisten the air you breathe in and also make mucus. This mucus traps dust and germs that are in the air. And on the surface of the cells of the mucous membrane, you will find microscopic hairs called cilia. The cilia's job is to clear mucus from the sinuses through a narrow opening in the nose and then move the mucus toward the back of the nose to be swallowed. But any hindrance in the functionality of your sinuses causes inflammation leading to sinusitis. How? Let me explain. In most cases, that is around 98%, Viruses are the main culprits behind sinusitis. Yes, these notorious viruses can damage the delicate cilia so that mucus is not swept away. They can also make the mucus lining of the nose swollen, which narrows and blocks the small opening from the sinuses into the nose. And when the tiny gaps that drain the mucus out of the sinuses get closed, mucus gets trapped in them. This accumulated mucus becomes a perfect home ground for the viruses, bacteria and fungus to grow, thrive and multiply their families, eventually leading to a severe infection called sinusitis. But how do we know? if it's sinusitis or just a common cold. Well, initially, a patient should show cold-like symptoms like a runny nose with thick yellow or green mucus. Another major sign a patient will notice is the pain around the head, nose, ears and teeth. And if you tap on the affected sinus with a finger, it can produce tenderness. Later, the person might develop other signs like fever, daytime cough and puffy eyes especially in the morning. And if all these symptoms, specifically cold, stay more than 10 days, there are chances that the person may have sinusitis and needs to rush to the hospital ASAP. There your doctor will first identify the type of sinusitis that includes acute sinusitis which lasts up to four weeks. Subacute sinusitis that can last around four to twelve weeks. And chronic sinusitis which can continue for months or even years and will prescribe the treatment accordingly. Although sinusitis caused by a virus usually goes away without medical treatment, but based on your situation, your doctor might prescribe certain antibiotics for bacterial sinusitis or nasal decongestants that shrinks swollen nasal passages, allowing the accumulated mucus to drain out. And in no time, you'll be fit and fine. Trivia time! Did you know your sinuses add heat and humidity to air before it gets to your lungs? 
Also, it is estimated that sinusitis affects 17% of women and 10% of men each year. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind.